Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, excuse me, I'm here with my wax melts for the week. I have empties and non-empties. But I'm going to change up my scent picks. I'm actually copying somebody else because it seems to work for her. So, um, I'm quickly going to show you guys. That's the locker, the wax storage locker. I can't show you really well because my phone zooms in so close. But that's mostly cleared out besides a few scent shots and some Tiffany's. Um... So yeah, but I have a surprise also. I am going to do a giveaway. I'm just talking about it in this video. It will not be on this video. And we just ate dinner, so excuse the crumbs. Um, but on my favorite vendor videos, video that I will be uploading sometime this week, I'm going to talk about my favorite vendors. And I just want you guys to simply write what you like about those companies in the comments section. So anyone who does that will be entered to win. The prize is a surprise because I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do one winner or five. It will not be waxed from my personal stash, but it will be wax related. All right, so let's get into what I've been melting. I will start with Robin. I had did one cube in the living room, dining room, and kitchen. Typically, I would do two um, in one warmer, but I had company over and I didn't want it to be too overpowering. It was still really strong, but I did not get that strawberry note. It was really just grass. So the last three, I'm just gonna add some Peter Parker and see what that does because I do have another Robin. So maybe I'll cut like half of the clamshell. I don't know, I have to figure that out yet. But the throw was great and I love her grass scent, so that was fine. Um, let's see. All right, Penguin, which is Blackberry Jam, Ocean Rain, and Pink Sands. I've been doing a cube in my bathroom every day and they last for more than a day. So it's been for the last, I think, two weeks. This is what I've gone through. Like I leave it until the scent is literally not detectable. So I keep my door closed so the scent stays in pretty good, but this is really good. It's really perfect for a bathroom actually. I'm usually like, I'd melt this anywhere, but this I wouldn't. I think this is a good bathroom scent, maybe bedroom, but you get the blackberry jam in the ocean with just a hint of that pink sands. I love it. Great performance, of course. All right. I have that from Blank Label. <clears throat> Mermaid Lagoon Under a Magic Moon. This was beautiful. It was aquatic and floral, and it was that pretty floral. It definitely scented up the room, but it wasn't a strong scent throw, if that makes any sense. Like, I could walk in and smell it. And it was a room filler, but it wasn't like it didn't travel out of the room or anything like that. But it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I've heard people say they cut these in half. I might try that. Um, but I really enjoyed the scent, and it's something that I would repurchase again. This was amazing. This almost tied for my favorite. This is Rose Girls Macintosh Apple Vanilla Bean Noel and Birthday Cake. I had a chunk about this size. I cut it in half, did it in my living room warmer and my dining room warmer, and it was beautiful. Super, super strong scent throw. I got a creamy Mac apple birthday cake. I really enjoyed that one. Definitely something I would get again. I don't think I've had any that I would not purchase. I'll have to think, but I don't think so. <clears throat> From Tiffany's, I did a scoopable of green Irish in my son's room. Now this was strong, so, so, so strong, so good. I actually took out the Teddy Tarts. Uh, he has a tea light, so I'm doing those right now in his room at the moment. But um, I think I'm gonna try this upstairs in my room because I really love the smell of the scent. Maybe in my bathroom as well. It's pretty strong, so I don't know that I put it in my bathroom, but maybe just a little bit, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, that's a favorite, so we'll save that for last. All right, this is Sex on the Beach. I don't know who the vendor is, um, but it was cracked and it didn't have a scent throw, so we'll just not talk about that one. Dizzy from the Bathing Garden. This was like a strawberry fruit punch. And it threw, like, I really enjoyed this scent and it threw good enough to where I could smell it throughout the house. I did use all three, well, all three six clam or cubes throughout my house but it did great so compared to how it used to throw <clears throat> it reminds me of when I first started buying from her that's what I'll say I don't get a like a wow me throw from her stuff but I can smell it and I love it and everything I melt doesn't have to be in your face strong so I did really appreciate that would I repurchase this scent probably not pearls of the ocean from the bathing garden <clears throat> this was a sand <clears throat> excuse me 
sand dollar cookie or whatever, like a sand dollar, not a cookie. <laughs> I'm thinking of super tart. Um, I cut it up in half. I did one half in my dining room, one half in my living room, and I put a piece of a little lightning bolt of cotton candy in with it, and it was gorgeous. I loved it. This one is actually a really good performer. A uh, very high scent throw considering what type of scent it is. It's again pretty. You can smell a floral, aquatic note, but very different. It also has a really soft note in it. I would definitely get this again. Definitely a repurchase for me. From Front Porch, Pink Sugar Birthday Cake. Even this one threw good for me. And I had it going in my kitchen, which is really hard to get a throw in there. So this surprised me. It didn't last very long, but it was, I could smell it. Strawberry Jackie. Oh, that is gorgeous, isn't it? I cut this up into three and divided it around the house, and it was beautiful. I mostly got um, the strawberry with a hint of bakery. I love this one. This is super old. Like, the first time that Jackie O and strawberry were ever mixed before it even hit the site, that's how old this is. And it did good. It wasn't super crazy strong, but it, would, like, filled up the rooms. All right, candy cane brownies. This was so strong. I love this one. You got the sharp peppermint with that brownie note, and it's it's something I would melt all year round. But I hope she brings this back for winter because that would be a perfect winter scent. Let's see from Flaming Star Scents, Loopity, Rock and Dippity, Fruit Loops, Serendipity, and Rock Candy. I didn't like the scent per se. It wasn't as bad on warm as it was on cool, but it was mostly like a Serendipity and lime scent. I would definitely. Um, order from her. She, It's been curing for about a year and it just threw like crazy in my kitchen. Didn't really love the scent, but I really enjoyed the throw on that one. And then we have Blown Up, which is lemon curd and jaws. Really pretty for when I'm cleaning the house. Mm, I love this one. I do have backups of that. And then get out of the water, which is strawberry jam and jaws. You get the strawberry jam and the jaws 50-50. Same with the lemon and jaws. They're both 50-50. Both repurchases. I'm sure I have them in my stash. And then I have Lego Tastic from L3 Waxy Wonder. Again, nothing on cold. It was like a mango scent. On warm, nothing. Nothing. It didn't smell like plastic, though. This one did not smell like plastic, so that's good. From Rose Girls, Strawberry Jam, Cream Cheese Frosting, and Waffle Cone. This one's amazing. You get the cream cheese first, the cream cheese frosting. And then you get the strawberry jam and then the waffle cone, and it was just fantastic. Now my two favorites. Seven Layer Cake from The Bathing Garden. This smelled really familiar when it was warming. And I, couldn't, I could not figure out what it was, but it smells just like Jackie O. Uh, and not super strong, but again, it filled up the rooms. I would definitely get this again. It was very pretty. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Strawberry Jackie O. And then my very favorite, Orange Zen. It is a fresh orange scent with that Zen, which is a beautiful spa scent. This was so strong and so good. I loved it. Definitely something I would want to keep on hand at all times. So that is it. That's my melts for the week. Again, I'm going to do something a little bit different for some picks, so I will be back with that in a little bit. Bye, guys.